What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos. Sometimes we do stupid things like video while I drive. <laughs> we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So we're on our way to Costco because, like, I have, like, only about a half a cup of almond flour left. We made those cookies yesterday, and I'm really glad that we got it right in the first batch situation because <laughs> I don't know if we would have had enough almond flour to make it again. Nope, and I actually have some other recipes I wanna work on. I wanna work on like a cheesecake, a no-bake cheesecake pudding kind of pie like using that. keto chow, but I need some almond flour and stuff to make the crust. Okay. So we definitely need to do that. And we're gonna see what other kind of new products we can find at Costco. Cause every week it feels like there's something new. Well, you know, we got that cauliflower rice that like the the shelf stable cauliflower rice in our keto crate mm -hmm. and one of the, somebody said in either the comment section or our facebook group that costco sells something like that really so i want to try to find it now i know all costcos are different like some costco sell primal kitchen some don't some sell like you know the um, chosen foods brand the texas one had a ton of jerky that we don't have yeah and i've seen like some people even talk about like their costco sells big bulk containers of pork rinds and our Costco doesn't sell pork rinds Sam's Club doesn't sell pork rinds our BJ's don't sell pork rinds so it's probably better for us I was gonna they say don't. I would over serve myself <laughs> yeah you can barely handle just a bag I can't even imagine if we gave you a giant tub of pork rinds I can imagine what would happen it would all get eaten so we're gonna see what other kind of products we can find at Costco. We'll uh, try to film a little bit, but I don't know how much we're gonna be able to do because they're not super keen on people filming. I can't believe I didn't bring a jacket for the 50th time. Oh, the other thing is, is when I was here a few days ago, I don't know if they're still here, but uh, Vitamix was having their road show. Oh. And I'd like to get another one of the blender cups mm -hmm. because our ninja broke. Very sad. It is very sad that our ninja broke, and unfortunately, like it's a year old, and it's, it's like literally a year and a week old. So it's out of warranty from Ninja. Wah, wah. And it, you know, Bed Bath and Beyond, which is where we got it from, has changed their return policy. So I did bring it up to her. She was like, no, it, it was a year. Anything prior to the change of it, you only had a year, and you're literally a week after the year. So, and now the new return policy is only like 30 or 60 or 90 days, depending on what it is you buy. I can understand that they needed to adjust it because I'm sure there's a lot of people like super taking advantage of it, but it does make me sad. Right. So we figured since we had to buy a new Vitamix anyway, and our Vitamix came with the blender cups. And it works really well. And it works really well. We're just going to see if we can get a second blender cup. Now online, they're like 30 bucks on Amazon, but I'm thinking maybe here at the road show. Might be cheaper. He may have some cheaper. I mean, because we bought our Vitamix at the road show. Can't hoy. I do like it. I like having. We have like all the extra containers. We have the big. We don't. We don't have the dry greens, but yeah. we're never going to use that anyway. But we have the big sixty-four ounce, which we were never using until we started making some keto chow. Yeah, and it is the perfect size for making three at once. And nothing blends like Vitamix. No. It's now, crazy. I would say that I think the Ninja makes a good blender. If you can't afford the Vitamix, a Vitamix, I think Ninjas are your next bet. But Vitamix comes with like such an incredible warranty on them. I, I mean, don't know. Again, I still for, think for it the just motor to go on our Ninja motors. after only one year is kind of disappointing for yeah. me. Yeah. Whereas we had our Vitamix for like 10 years. Yep. In fact, it was 10 years because my mom bought us our first Vitamix as a wedding gift. Yay. That's and a good so, wedding gift. And we used the heck out of that thing. And the only reason it broke was because we did it ourselves because you weren't supposed to be putting the pitcher in the dishwasher, and we were. So it was kind of our fault that it broke to begin with. 
still make me sad. Yep. So, but the new one you're allowed to put in the dishwasher, but there is a standing rule. Nobody better be putting that thing in a dishwasher. I'm still afraid to put it in the dishwasher. They cost too much money. Oh, that was the backup beeper. But yeah, so the blending cup seems to be working really well. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got the attachments. We might as well just see if we can find another cup to go with it. And then you could be making your drink or your coffee and then I could make mine and we don't have to worry about like, hey, I need the cup back. Did you clean it enough? So, well, we're here at Costco. Let's head inside and see what we can get in trouble with. Right, what damage could we do? Well, take a look at this. Cauliflower tortilla chips. And so many people are going to grab this bag just because it says they're made out of cauliflower. But look at this. 130 calories, 19 grams of carbs, and only one gram of fiber. And then look at all the ingredients. The very first ingredient is cassava, which is a flour. Sunflower oil, then you have cauliflower, chia seed, sea salt. So this is not a good option. If you're looking for a good deal on avocados, Costco is a great place. Look at this, you get six of the Hoff avocados and it's only $5. It's really hard to find them for less than a dollar a piece. My suggestion though is when you're gonna buy them in a bag like this, try to find them where they're underripe and let them sit because so many times like I'm picking up some of these other bags and like I can literally like squeeze my hand all the way through. So get them like this and get them hard, stick them in the refrigerator and start letting them like get soft on their own. So if you're like us, sometimes getting the avocados um, is not always a great deal because we don't use them in time and they go bad before we can use them. Um, they have this thing here. It's not guacamole. It's actually an organic avocado mash. It's just the Haas avocados, lemon juice, sea salt, and organic black pepper. So at 90 calories per pack, and basically a dollar a pack, because it's $15.89 for the 16 pack. This is a great option. It's a little expensive, but when you consider the amount of waste when that avocado goes bad, when it's half open, may not be a bad idea, especially yeah. if you're like on the go like us. Yeah. So here's a new product from our Costco. It's the Organic Jack's Cantina Salsa. Um, it has no artificial preservatives, and it's only one carbohydrate for two tablespoons. Not bad at 6.49. Serious. Rachel hates it when we come in the refrigerated section, but there's some great deals. Look at this, $4.49 for this nice bag of Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are so good on keto. I'm freezing. <laughs> Why do I always forget to bring a jacket? Take a look at this. This is brand new in our Costco. We've never had this before. Grass-fed beef patties made with blue cheese. And on the back, 220 calories per patty, 13 grams of fat, 23 grams of protein, two carbs per patty, but it's, all it is is all natural grass-fed beef, blue cheese, and then some garlic, some natural flavors, some spices, some sea salt, and some onion. So this is a great option. You know, basically there are what? Eight patties in here. It's coming out to be $6 a pound. Not a bad deal for having like just some grass-fed patties ready to go where maybe you don't have enough time to cook. I think we're gonna get a set of these and try them out tonight. And then right next to it, this is a new sausage. If the package is not open, we usually get the other sausages, the Kielbasa brand. But these are, look at this, Fromani Delicious for Reasons, salt and pepper smoked sausage, vegetarian feed, no antibiotics, no added hormones, and it is 250 calories, 20 grams of fat, 17 grams of protein, zero carbs. The ingredients, pork, water, and contains less than 2% of vinegar, sea salt, celery powder, and black pepper. So there's no nitrates, no preservatives. So we're gonna get some of these. And I think for dinner, what do you think, Rachel? Burgers and a sausage? I think that's a great idea. And look at this one that I just found. Kale and mozzarella charboiled chicken burgers. And this is another one with great ingredients. One burger is uh, 170 calories, eight grams of fat, 21 grams of protein. So it is higher in protein, but it's chicken. Uh, four total carbohydrates, one gram of dietary fiber. The ingredients are all natural chicken, kale, mozzarella cheese, some caramelized onions. It does have some canola oil. That's what the, car the onions are caramelized in canola oil. And then it has garlic, basil, sea salt, and uh, some extract of rosemary and vinegar. So not a bad option at $12.69. Not necessarily for me, but for some people who really like to have chicken patties, pretty healthy for keto. So here's something that I got really excited about at first, and then I looked on the ingredients. So 
Um, these are some smoked sausage. They look amazing. They say gluten-free and no MSG. And then I was looking at the nutrition label and it looks great. There's zero carbs, but let's look at the ingredients. Pork, water, salt, vinegar, potassium lactate, hydrologized corn protein, flavoring sugar and dextrose, sodium, I can't even say that, sodium nitrate, caramel color, red number three, in a natural sheep casing. So, I mean, this looks great as far as like, it has no carbs, but it's got some not great ingredients. That's why you always have to look at the ingredients. There's three different types of sugar in there. So even though it's registering as zero carbs, it's still got three different kinds of sugar and caramel coloring is worse than sugar. That's one of the reasons that I've cut out the diet soda because of the caramel coloring. Yeah, it's not gonna make your tummy feel great either. There was definitely a time when a trip to Costco had to involve getting their bagels and also their muffins. They have some amazingly tasty Yeah, the muffins are over there. Goods. And the croissants. And then we used to get these arugula. Like, I don't think we ever came to Costco without buying any of that stuff. So, like, you know how much money we save in Costco buying this stuff, Seriously. not buying this stuff? We would always buy the pies, too, and their cakes are, like, giganticus. So here's something, you're gonna look at Cobb Sal blue cheese dressing, $4.49 a pound. So you pick up this nice sal, looks gorgeous, right? $15, look at the length of the ingredients on this. I haven't even gone through the whole thing, but I've seen like dextrose, maltodextrin, like this is like so not worth getting on keto. There are a salad that basically is egg, blue cheese, bacon, tomatoes, and chicken, and lettuce, and look at the laundry list. That's ridiculous. Don't buy this kind of stuff here. So one thing about the Costco chickens and all the rotisserie chickens is they generally do have some ingredients like some dextrin, some potato starch, some modified food starch in it. This one also has dextrose. But I know sometimes we're just quick on the go and we grab them. But one thing that I like about Costco is they also have these like deal where they're split and you're paying $5.99 for three halves. You're actually getting a whole extra half a chicken for the same price as buying the regular rotisserie chicken. They used to have just the dark meat and they stopped doing that. So again, not the greatest thing on keto, but if it's compared to either this or going out to like McDonald's, I still would suggest getting this over that kind of stuff. So they're sampling this in the other aisle. So we grabbed one and came over here so they didn't see us filming. I got super excited, look at this. Fine ground sea salt almond flour crackers from Simple Mills. I was really excited. Look, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's an almond flour cracker. Till I turned it over and looked at the ingredients and nutrition. Look at this nutrition label. 17 crackers in a serving, 16 servings per container, 150 calories, eight grams of fat, so far so good, three grams of protein, 17 total carbohydrates, and only two grams of fiber. So I was trying to figure out like, how are these almond flour crackers, what is making them so high in carbs? Well, looking at the ingredients, the first ingredient, really good, nut and seed flour blend, which is almond, sunflower seeds, and flax seeds. Next ingredient, tapioca starch, cassava flour, organic sunflower oil, sea salt, onion, garlic, rosemary extract. So obviously there is a lot of tapioca starch and a lot of cassava flour in here for these, net, for these uh, carbohydrates to be so high. Another time where you really have to read the ingredients because I was excited about this and turns out not very good on keto. Okay, so once again, cauliflower is working against us. So this is not a cheap product. It's $9.69 a bag, but I can see people wanting to do cauliflower tots as opposed to like the regular potato tots. But when you look over here in the ingredients, you've got cauliflower, wheat flour, sunflower oil, some organic potato starch, uh, vegetable protein, sugar, gluten, maltodextrin. I mean, even though they're putting organic, organic maltodextrin, you know, with it. So this isn't a great buy, even though it is cauliflower. I have a feeling the title of this video is going to be what not to buy in Costco. I know, it's starting to add up. Okay, so now Costco is working on redeeming itself. We found some artichoke hearts, which my mom absolutely loves. These are already marinated and grilled in the uh, refrigerated section. Now it does have some um, sunflower oil in it. That's cane vinegar, not cane sugar. Um, eight total carbohydrates, four fiber, but that's for five pieces. So this would be really tasty and I love artichoke hearts. Artichoke hearts are actually really good for you on keto. and. 
of all of the oils that like we try to stay away from sunflower oil is like I try to stay away from it but it's not super bad it's yeah, not canola, canola oil. oil we've got another winner look at this cage free egg bites fluffy eggs made with three cheeses and uncured bacon 260 calories our serving size is one pack 19 grams of fat 20 grams of protein only three total carbohydrates and the ingredients are really, really clean. It does have some turbinado sugar in it, but it's way down on the bottom. Uh, not bad though, $10. Okay, well, here's a new product again in Costco. Unfortunately, not for keto, but we're seeing all of these products like cauliflower, right? Cauliflower this, cauliflower this, and what's one of the ingredients in there? Cassava flour. Well, no wonder the carbs are so high. Look at this. A quarter of a cup is 38 grams of carbohydrates. That's why all these products are so high in carbs. But, we almost forgot it again. <laughs> so this is actually a really good deal. Three pounds of almond flour, $13. Now, if your Costco doesn't have this, I just saw last night when I was on Amazon, Amazon has the blue diamond, three pounds, and I think it's $13.99, so it's a dollar more. I'll leave a link down in the description. That's the brand that Costco used to carry until they started carrying their own, their own brand. So we got really excited. We came over into this aisle over here and we saw this like crispy mushroom snacks and we we're like, oh great, let's try those because Rachel loves mushrooms. I really do. And then we're looking at the, it's 160 calories, two thirds of a cup. That is a big serving because you can see these are like dried and small. Eight grams of carbohydrates. I mean, they are mushrooms. Two grams of protein. I thought we were doing really good. And then look at this, canola oil maltodextrin. So unfortunately those are a no, but I think we're gonna try these. Organic cauliflower bites. It actually says on here, keto friendly, four grams of net carb sea salt. And uh, the ingredients on this are, where are they? Organic cauliflower. Uh, it does have some sunflower oil because it's probably what they're cooking it in to make it roasted and some sea salt. But 200 calories in a serving. Six grams of carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, two grams of protein, uh, 19 grams of fat though. So we're gonna take a hit and we're gonna buy this and try it out for the channel. So here is a great keto find, Hearts of Palm. I always try to make sure that they are sustainably farmed because um, a lot of times you have to kill the whole tree to get the, the palm. But these are just the Hearts of Palm, water, salt, and citric acid. There's 6.5 uh, total carbs, but then four fiber. So this is a great snack. And it's $9. And they're actually really good on keto. And that's a new product. We haven't had these in our, at least not in our Costco. Right. Well, one more step further, and we're definitely finding a product that we're gonna go home with, and that is this uh, cauliflower. Garlic herb cauliflower? Yeah. It's just cauliflower, water, salt, vinegar, garlic spices, basil, rosemary, and um, I mean, it does have some preservatives and stuff, but one, one carb. Yep, and it's not even that expensive. Look at that, $6.89 for two jars. It is coming home with us. We're gonna try that and look at this right next to this. Artichoke halves, $8.39. What are the ingredients on here? Just uh, the halves. Eight total carbs, three grams of fiber. Water, Two salt. grams of sugar. Artichoke halves, uh, halves, water, salt, and citric acid. And then right next to it, we have purchased this before. I know you've got that in your hand, Rachel. Yes. But this is awesome for recipes. Absolutely. So these are, if you want to turn it. Oof. I don't want to drop it. These are fire roasted red peppers. They last forever in yeah. the refrigerator and they have really good nutrition. So a serving size is a half a cup and you only need one or two. Uh, 30 calories, one gram of protein, zero fat, and it's six total carbohydrates, two grams of dietary fiber. And this is literally just organic roasted whole red pepper, salt, water, and some citric acid. I like these when I'm like, oh, I need a red pepper for a recipe. And then like we forgot to go to the grocery store and get some. They go really good in the blender if you want to make a nice cream sauce. You blend one or two of those up with some heavy cream. Works great for a sauce. Delicious. So this is another favorite of mine. They're uh, the sun-dried tomatoes. They're so delicious. I mean, this is a giant container. That jar would take forever to go through, especially on keto where you can only have one or two like on top of a pizza. Yes, because there are like five net carbs in this per serving. Um, there's supposed to be 52 servings in this. That's, this is becoming a good aisle though. Yeah. So we are basically gonna just move into this aisle because there are so many good like keto finds. This is another one, this olive muffaletta. 
It's $8.99 a container. Talk about like flavor packed. This has ripe olives, cauliflowers, peppers, celery, carrots, spices. I think this may be coming home with us too. And then look over here. They have some great, they have the apple cider vinegar over here. We'll walk over here. And this is a new one. They didn't used to have this one because we never bought this one because it didn't have the mother. But I'm looking right down on the bottom if you can see it on the camera. There is the mother in this one and that's $8 for three, for three jars and it's unfiltered. Giant jars. This is a giant container of vinegar, but I also use this when I do my laundry. Yeah, because like the kids clothes really stink. Boys. So we had our first run in with a manager in a store. It wasn't like unpleasant. He was just like, what are you doing? I kind of saw him like out of the corner of my eye. Like we were going up and down in the refrigerated section, like in the open refrigerated section where the cheeses are. And I saw this guy and I saw him with a Costco tag. It was when we went and did, I noticed him when we found those um, almond flour crackers and we went into the other aisle mm -hmm. and he kept peeking and looking at us. And he finally walked up to us. He's like, can I help you guys? And we're like, you know, well, we're just like kind of vlogging. Like we run a YouTube channel and he's like, okay, I figured you were vlogging. He didn't say stop. Yeah. Well, I actually said, do you want us to stop? And he's like, honestly, I don't, I don't even... know what the policy yeah. is of Costco, but like, he's like, it is my job to ask at least, what are you doing? So yeah. he didn't say we couldn't do it. He just wanted to know what we're doing. Yeah. So we just continued. We just continued because he didn't tell us to stop. So. Yeah. We love Overall, Costco. Yeah. We love Costco. And that's what we said. Hey, we... A lot of people like go to Costco for keto and we're showing them the, that Costco is such a great place for keto. So like we're promoting your store and he was like, oh, okay. Also there's stuff you have that they should not purchase. We didn't say that part. We left that out. He'll see it in the video. <laughs> so overall we found a lot of new products for our Costco. I mean, they may be in other Costco's, but there were a lot of products that are new for our Costco. And some of them were awesome. And some of them not so much. Yeah. But we did get this one, and this looks really promising. I'm excited about this. So it's organic cauliflower bites, uh, sea salt. It actually says keto friendly on the front, Let's but that doesn't actually... mean anything. This is going to be a nice snack. I'm thinking about like for a movie. Absolutely. Hopefully they taste good. Are you ready? I was going to say, let's try it first before we get excited. We shouldn't be doing this in the car. We should be making this a five things review, but the kids worked really hard helping us cut the church today. They so. Did. I have a bunch of coupons for Tucker Dukes. So Tuck, it's like a Hamburger. lunchbox. It's really, really good burgers. And every once in a while, Groupon does a deal like where it's $15 for a $30 voucher. Yeah, always so check Groupon. So I have six Groupon. of them. I can't open this. Is there a pair of scissors in the side door? I think I should have scissors somewhere. Oh, I got one. Work truck, you always have scissors. Isn't this where you would have that crazy knife? How come we have the crazy knife at home and the scissors in the car. Because of Anthony. Ooh, this is Oh nice. my gosh, smell this. Oh my goodness. It is like That's fresh delicious. roasted cauliflower. I can't wait to pop this in my mouth. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Wow. That is awesome. That is awesome. Wow. Yeah. That is delicious. Wow. Now. You know, usually cauliflower, it takes on the flavor of other things, right? It kind of lays down and whatever it is that you no. need it to be. But this is like cauliflower It is a shame that center. the bag is only half full. But it was like vacuum sealed. So I will say that. It's like so every nice bag of fresh. potato chips, right? Now, here's the thing. These, I mean, this was, I guess... I wouldn't say it's too pricey. It was six, what was it, six sixty nine or something like that? Six eighty nine. Six eighty nine for the bag, so it's not too bad considering what it is. So a serving, there's supposed to be six servings in this package. I would definitely say, I don't know about six, maybe three or four. Yeah. I mean, just looking at it, but so it says a serving is fourteen pieces. So here's my question: What's a piece? This one? No. Or this one? That. Yeah. Is there a one bigger? Or this one? That one. That's a piece. I want 14 of those, please. So that's why it's always best to go with the weight on a serving size is 28 grams. There you go. So you want another one? I'm going to have another one. Have another one. I'm looking for one You of want the... another big one? I'll give you a big one. No. You can have the big one. Okay. Thank and you. I'll take like two little ones or a little and a medium. I like We're going to put these back and save these because I think we may go to the Lion King next week, right? So maybe oh, we'll yeah. save these for the movies. And we're going to go to Tucker Dukes and we'll check in with you guys when we get home for dinner. 
So it looks like we have a Costco roadshow going on in our plate. Yeah, so we've got a, we're trying a bunch of different foods from Costco. So I've got my food here. Rachel's got hers, but Rachel's been eating all day long because this week Rachel's actually preparing her own food. Just She's trying it out. Trying to see like about tracking macros and things like that. So I haven't eaten today. Mm -hmm. I did have like a half of a keto chow this morning. Uh, but that's all I had. I just happened to have a half left over from experimenting with a recipe or something like that. So this is pretty much my first meal. So I'll show you what I've got. So And then we're going to try some different Costco foods to finish out this video. So I've got one and a half of these, um, what are they, from from Mani? From Mani. Salt and pepper sausages. We just got these in Costco, you guys saw. And um, I'm excited about these because these are even better than the kielbasa brand that we normally get. Well, let's take a bite. So let's try let's those see. first. Because, yeah, they were sitting next to some other sausages that weren't great. Weren't so great. I think they actually costed more, too. And they had those chicken sausages were there today on a road show, too. Yeah. It's got a great snap. Mm-hmm. I like it. Those are better than the kielbasis. I don't know if I'd say they're better, but they're good. Well. They're really good. If you get into the, the flavor, like the the jalapeno kielbasa yeah. ones. I like but the But as far as a one. nice sausage. It's got a great snap. I mean, so just to go over the ingredients of this, one link, which is, I mean, that's a pretty sizable link. I have a, tw I have a quarter of a link. Yep. Um, you have it like a half a link. So <clears throat> one link is uh, 250 calories. It's 20 grams of fat, 17 grams of protein. So usually like the sausages are much higher. Yeah. But these are pork instead of beef. Uh, zero carbs. And there is nothing in the ingredients to be giving you a carb. So it's not like some of the other ones where there's maltodextrin where it says zero carbs, but there's some hidden in there. There's really nothing in here to give you a carb. So that's my thing. That's what I'm liking more is I like that beef right. flavor. This is a pork sausage. Right. So I think that that is the yeah, difference. Yeah, I don't know if the kielbasa, I think, I'm pretty sure the kielbasa brand is a beef one. Yeah. So we got this at Costco, this piscina, right? Piscina? I'm sure we Garlic, have herb, one. cauliflower. The, the macros on this, five calories in a serving, one ounce is a serving, zero fat, zero protein, one total carbohydrate. The ingredients are cauliflower, water, salt, vinegar, garlic, spices, basil, rosemary, calcium chloride, sodium um, bisulfate, um, and sodium benzate. Those are just preservatives. Yeah. So Rachel's got a double serving. Okay. And I've got like three servings. It smells much more herby than vinegary. Mm. That is good. It's a little bit of a vinegar. It's not a super vinegar. But more on like, you know what it tastes like? Um, Like the oil, if you have um, like marinated artichoke hearts. Yeah. Where it feels more like an like oily. The, the, That's the good. The seasonings you can see in here. Like if you can see that. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. Really good. I don't know but there is a lot of seasoning on there, and mm. it really shines through on it. Wow, that is that is super flavorful. Mm -hmm. That would be nice on like on chicken. Definitely with this burger, I'm gonna enjoy it. We got this at Whole Foods, mm -hmm. and we're kind of thinking, I don't know, like instead of Miracle Noodles, which really have zero nutrition, I just like them. doesn't do anything for you, and they're expensive. I don't remember how much we paid for this, but these are Calabri Calabri. I, Linguinis? It's impossible to say any of these things. Okay, so basically they're saying you can make tomato sauce or something like that. I mm -hmm. just put like a tablespoon of butter and kind of steamed yeah. it up. So there's three servings in this entire bag. So we each have like one and a half servings. I probably have a little bit more because mm -hmm. I didn't weigh it out. Serving size is two cups, which is pretty generous. Yeah. 25 calories, zero fat, one gram of protein, five total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber. But again, nice. it's a natural thing. Good for you. I have no problem select, subtracting that. I didn't even put any salt or anything on it, so we'll have to see what it's like without seasoning. Mmm. That is good. The butter is like, that's really good. I only did a tablespoon of butter for the whole thing. Are you so kidding? One tablespoon. I so mean, really, it is like. It soaked it up. It soaked it up. These are grass-fed beef patties with blue cheese in them. And again, now I'm not saying to like this is like always get this. I mean, it's easy to make burgers, but yeah. I think this is a nice thing to just have in your freezer. 
uh, or have in your refrigerator like, hey, I just I don't feel like cooking. Rather than going to McDonald's and getting Are a they burger, already they're already cooked. So all you have to do is you can put them in the microwave, which or put them in a pan. We just threw them on the grill for a minute because yeah. I'm gonna make some uh, beef jerky, so I need to start the grill anyway. Ingredients: all natural grass fed beef, blue cheese, which consists of culturized pasteurized milk, salt enzymes. Uh, Pencilinium, which is just like what your bacteria is. Okay. Uh, organic onion, sea salt, organic garlic, natural flavor, organic spices. 220 calories, 13 grams of fat, 23 grams of protein, 2 grams of carbohydrates. And the carbohydrates are coming from the spices. And do you remember how much it was? I think it was eleven ninety nine, if I remember For right. For how many? Eight? For eight. So that's what, a dollar fifty a burger? That's like you're getting a McDonald's burger price on the go. But, and without it's, having a bunch of junk in it. And it's substantial in size. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty good size. If you've had, like, a McDonald's burger patty lately. Yeah. It, they're, they're and again, I just think it's something that would be nice to just have for, like, a go-to emergency. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, there's nothing to cook. Oh, I have these. And it's like, like the pulled pork and stuff that they sell. Well, and if you're all of a sudden, like, we have the family, like, you've got, you know, you got to make it for, for all four of us. Two, right. You know, two burgers a piece or whatever for the boys. That's $12. nice. $12. And that's nice to I be I mean, able. we just went and got the kids those burgers at, you know, Tucker Dude. They were $12 a piece. No, 15 It was $30 for two burgers. Now, granted, they make really good burgers and all the veggies are local and they use good quality meat and stuff. But still. But the only time we ever go to Tucker Dukes is literally when it's a $15 for $30 thing because, you know, like... For seven fifty, it's kind of hard to make that burger with the bun and the ingredients yeah. and the sauce, and it's got like eight pieces of bacon on it and cheese and everything else. So, so I want to put my spicy tomato ketchup from Alternate Sweets on this. I want to, but I'm going to eat it plain first so we can yeah. really try the flavor. Nice. That is good. Wow. That is really good. Wow. I recommend this. Very buttery. It's it's got a nice, perfect amount of blend of spices. You now, put this unfortunately, on the grill. you didn't put this. In I the just pan. put it in the grill. It's very buttery. It's really buttery. Now, unfortunately, it does only come fully cooked. It's not like you can't have it like medium or oh, anything yeah. like that. But again, I, I think it's just it. a nice option to keep them in the refrigerator. So today is August first when we were filming this, mm -hmm. and we bought them. And the user freeze by date is August twenty seventh. So I don't know how long they've been in there, but at least it's got a good, you know, like date on it. And the container was resealable. Yeah, that is nice. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know if you guys have ever tried any of these things that we found today because we were kind of like excited about everything that we found at Costco. This is all new to us. Like these these hamburgers are a nice option. I really like these sausages. Mm -hmm. This, like this is going to become a staple in our house. That is a nice Give some nice side flavor dish. with some cauliflower and mm -hmm. oh, and five calories in a serving. Hello. So, I mean, even if you're like, I'm doing, I have three servings in here. 15 calories and what is it it's three total carbohydrates if for you're the just whole thing. sitting and you want to like eat something while you're like watching tv i mean you could eat the whole vat and right. like not hurt yourself how many servings are in there? if you eat the entire jar 20, 20 servings so if i eat the entire jar i'm eating 100, 20 carbohydrates yeah and no. 100 calories and 100 calories so, well, that is our video for today. If you guys like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.